Cookies are extensively used in digital analytics and digital marketing. This is how uh, these tools are able to put the user's visit together or identify a user. When you visit any site, there could be multiple cookies being dropped on your computer. These are small, tiny files that contain information about what you're doing, who you are, your session, etc. Many media companies use cookies to put a restriction on how many articles you can see on their site so that they can put a paywall where you'll have to pay to read more articles. But if you know how to read and edit the cookies, you can actually get around these restrictions. So it's kind of fun to look at cookies and see what cookies are being dropped and then mess with them. However, be careful when you're messing with cookies because if you extensively use a site, your experience could be interrupted. In that case, you might have to just completely delete, log back in to get the right experience. But let me go and show you how you can easily uh, read these cookies and edit them. Here is a Chrome extension that'll let you read the cookies and edit them. So it's called Edit This Cookie. Once you install this extension, I already have it implemented, you will see this icon right here, Edit This Cookie. So clicking on that icon will show you what cookies are being dropped on your computer from that site. So I'm gonna go to Wall Street Journal, for example, right here. I'm on this article, and when you click on this cookie, you can see how many cookies are being dropped by Wall Street Journal. Here you have everything. And within any given cookie, you will see the value of a cookie, the domain that's dropping it, what's the expiration date of the cookie. So you can see all this information by clicking on any of these cookies. So here's the value is one and when it expires. It's kind of fun to see these cookies. Let me find something here. It's a Parsley session. And this tool, which is Parsley tool, I think, is dropping this cookie. So here's your session information, where you came from, as you can see in this ref right here. This is a URL encoded value. Uh, you can easily decode this value by going on Google and searching for URL value decode to see what comes up. And then here is more information of session count, when was your last session, whether you are, uh, what's your personal ID, I guess. So you can see a bunch of stuff here. This seems like Facebook cookie, right? So go ahead and take a look. Let me see what region I'm being tracked as. North America, US, because this I think is a space. So if you remove that, it tells you it's North America and US. You can easily delete a cookie if you would like by clicking on this delete button. That'll delete the cookie. And you can change the expiration date here if you would like. Now let me go to another site. Let's go ESPN. I know these sites drop a lot of cookies because they are uh, doing ad targeting, personalization, etc. So that's why they drop these cookies to keep track of what the user is doing. Uh, click on edit this cookie here. Look at how many cookies there are. Cookie monster, one, user zip. It's the wrong zip, but close. So that's my zip that they're tracking, which country I'm from, US. What's my connection speed? So look at how many things they are tracking right here. They're also using Chartbeat, I think, which is the real-time analytics tool. That's their cookie. Here is Mbox, that's from uh, Adobe Target tool that they're using. Omni CW test, not sure what that is. Again, Facebook cookie. So go ahead and try this. Again, let me show you what this extension is. It's called Edit This Cookie. Try it out. I'm gonna be posting more videos around what plugins I use because that's one of the common questions my students ask all the time, is what are the plugins that you use uh, so that they can also follow along. So I'll be sharing all around digital marketing, digital analytics tools, SEO, 
uh, plugins, uh, more related to cookies, advertising, analytics, etc. So stay tuned and subscribe to this channel so that you can learn from more videos like this. See you next time. Thank you.